Yesterday I woke up in a bed that wasn't my own My head is aching and I feel thoroughly spent The stench of sweaty sheets and the aroma of burning scented candles assault my senses I just lay there gazing at the ceiling chewing on the broken chalice of indecision Sometimes it's hard for a vain man to see past one's own hubris. I've been there before, done this lame dance several times. It should have been enough. I should have had enough. But somehow, I keep getting pulled back into this life. The one I stumbled into, and somehow I can't get a clean break from. It was there dangling before my very eyes The lifeless hollow eyes in its socket Staring at me Perhaps I should have flinched, said a prayer Or showed some emotion The truth is I just didn't care Underneath the frost that I've built around my tick over the years I could not find myself Maybe daddy didn't read me enough bedtime stories. Maybe I got picked on a lot in school. And now I'm a broken sociopath lashing out at humanity for not intervening. For letting all of it, all of my car crash of a life snowball into this hideous thing wrapped beneath an impressive Armani suit. I never wanted this. I never wanted to cave her head in with the scotch bottle and string her up on the chandelier. Now I have awoken here alone with blood on my hands. It tastes like pomegranate and wild berry. It's been so long since I could actually appreciate the subtle tastes of human food. Now every pulse, every tiny heartbeat only draws out the buried demon I had held him at bay for 350 years but now he has scratched the surface he has crawled out of the snow globe I cannot hold it in anymore I am not a vampire I am something much worse I eat them for breakfast and bathe in the ashes Sorry, Genevieve, this wasn't personal. It was just simple sustenance. I was hungry. You were available. I muttered, whispering into the ears of a desiccated corpse, which was dangling precariously from the luxurious light fittings. I turned my back on the dangling, gruesome, unsightly thing my torture technique had created. The dried up body soon started to move. Its hands twitches repeatedly within the confines of a silver-colored handcuff. I turn back and her bloodshot eyes are before me, the blood-sucking abomination buried her fangs with the fire of a woman scorned. It was a night which I did pour out much scorn on the vile creature. Before she could take her pound of flesh, my knife was in her throat. There was blood spatter on my face. I wiped it with a handkerchief and looked into the abyss. She was a soulless wench preying on hormonal small-minded human men. I am simply taken from the stiletto wearing seductress what she had stolen without consent. Cassian will hunt you down and he will cut you in half. You're a walking target now, Felipe, Genevieve howled in agony. You bore me now with your ramblings like you bored me underneath the sheets. I'm sure like me, Cassian must find you a tedious chore. I shouted back, putting more pressure on the knife handle, taking off the head of the screaming woman. The well penned head of the blonde rolled down a small flight of steps. I had had my fill for the night. 
like any sane gentleman. I fetched my coat, but I couldn't tip the butler. He was very dead. His stiff, outstretched hands made a good hanging place for my red overcoat. I always loved that colour. It was the colour of an old sigil from another life. God knows I have had many. I closed the closet where the butler stood stiff and erect. The wine on the tray in his hands tasted exquisite. He couldn't look back at me. I had made sure to hollow out those orbs before they could betray my intent to his pay mistress. He must likely was under a vampire trance. I knew I had killed a man while he was sleeping, while he was not his true self. I took no pleasure in cutting down a human. As I walked out of the opulent, tastefully furnished house, I told myself it was just another day on the job, doing what I do best, the business of murder. Yesterday I woke up in a bed that wasn't my own. My head is aching and I feel thoroughly spent. The stench of sweaty sheets.